Uncle Morty used to send me to the movies. Here's a nickel, kid. Cheer up and go. And though I was only seven, I discovered heaven at the RKO. Blue lights, pink lights, stars in the ceiling. An organ as big as a Buick And a screen as tall as the Great Wall of China Red rugs, gold stairs, porcelain angels And everything bigger and better and larger than life At first, I was strictly a Western man but then, one Saturday afternoon, I saw Defender of the Crown, Warner Brothers 1941 Technicolor, starring Alan Swan. Daring, loyal, kind, but courageous. A hero as big as a Buick, with a cape, a sword, and a bevy of maiden. Swan was movies. Me, I was seven. And gee, he was bigger, and better, and larger than life. See, life wasn't capes, and flashing swords, and parapets. Life wasn't Alan Swan, or Robin Hood. Life was your father, going out for cigarettes. And deciding he was going out for good. Here's a nickel, kid. Cheer up and go. Swan is playing at the RKO. Well, sure it was possible. If he had met my mom in 34, maybe had a fling with her in his cabana at the Chateau Marmont, there was every reason to believe there could be the remote possibility that the man who went out for the Chesterfield wasn't my real father at all. I wasn't some dumb kid whose father got tired of him and walked out. I was the bastard child of Alan Swan. Daring, loyal, kind but courageous. A hero as big as I needed in the technicolor embrace of a maiden. Swan, my hero and possible father. He stood and he fought and he never ran. Oh no, he was bigger and better and larger than life. And he lived for me. Okay.